Hey guys, it's me, Balka Builder B, and today we're going to be doing more Trackmania Track Spotlight. This isn't Trackmania Track Spotlight. Instead, we're going to be doing some Country Justice, Revenge of the Rednecks. I know it's been a while since I did one of these, or since I did the first part, but um, there were a few technical difficulties, mainly with my save file, and finding out that my computer had, what was it, like, 3 gigabytes of RAM? So, if any of you people have any idea of how computer memory works, which I happen to, um, but if any of my viewers happen to, then you'll know that that's a really small amount of space. So, mm, excuse me. So, I moved all of my zombies that are walking into my truck. No, I moved all of my uh, YouTube videos and big files and stuff, and I have like 32 meg, but like basically, I have a lot more space. Um, so now I can actually do videos without this game lagging because it was kind of lagging a lot, but I found out that it actually might have just been the game needed reinstalling, so reinstalled it. Now it's working fine. Um, I even went to the extent to try um, deleting my old save file, so I kind of don't have my progress now, but I mean, it's not like I was too far into the game. So um, we are actually right now um, outside of the nuke plant. I'm just going to get over here. Okay. Um, and also, that kind of is good because, normally, this big arrow is pointing for you to go down there. However, if you take this path, or, eh, um, or there is also another turn-off down that path, I think it's like, uh, um, yeah. um, I think if you take, like, this route or something like this, you see all this kind of wire, not wire, um, what's this stuff called? I can't even think as to what this stuff is called, but whatever this stuff that I'm on top of is called, basically there's another um, area that you can um, drive up through to get up to here. Um, so either way, you can get up to this area. Um, and this area actually has a bit more interesting stuff than the other way. So first thing, I'm just going to go, go, go away. Th thank you. I'm still being shot at, though, with pistols. I don't know why this high-security military facility has guys running around with pistols. You'd think they might have something more, I, I don't know, powerful other than pistols. So, I'm just gonna poke them, and then they're gonna go, eh, and they trip. Okay, um, so, there are a few interesting things in this area, other than the big green arrows and my mic kind of not being the best mic ever built. Um, so right here, there are these cars. They have no bottom to them, you can look through the ground, through them. I'm gonna whack them with a baseball bat. Luckily, it keeps all the items that I had. Can I actually swing my baseball bat? That'd be nice. There we go. Now my baseball bat is just gonna glitch out. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know. Right here it is. I'm just gonna get back in my truck and drive over to the most interesting part. I just realized my head's going through the bottom of, or the top of the truck. Oh, well. Um, let's just drive over here, and then hello, goodbye, insert Beatles song here. Um, also, there are these cars. Um, these cars are not very big compared to my car. I have a really big car. I bought it at Big Mart. I can even lift up this car with the catapult I have. I don't know how this is supposed to be a catapult. And I just am crushing their car. I hope they don't mind. Also, another thing to note, there are two kinds of cars, red cars and blue cars. There's only one other kind of car, which is a cool car. Okay, there, well, there are these ones, which are kind of a variant of the see-through floor cars, but mm, they aren't nearly as cool. They're just kind of, they, they have a floor, and no one likes cars that have floors. See, they have a floor, and they have no, they have no top either, so it, I guess it's a convertible model. Um, also, none of these things, like this trailer, can't drive it. Trex. Breakfast beer. Breakfast beer. Yeah. And AAA Oil Company. Wow. www.3romans.com I don't think that that website is actually still up anymore. Silverfish, fish, oil, I don't even know. I'm gonna, there are also more of these. Bo Bobtail haulage? What is there? In Invisible? Transport Contractors Saint... Oh, Saint, Saint Tropez? I don't know. Oh, and then there's Caution. I'm not gonna caution anything. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these cars here... 
Oh, I can just, well, I can walk through this one. Um, so you can't really drive that one. But I don't think any of these cars are actually drivable. So, yeah. Um, there's only actually two dri- or three, I should say. Three drivable cars, um, in the game. Which is my truck, which is over there. Um, um, who's his name? Not Skeeter. Um, this one probably was in an accident. Looks like there was a... What the? There's a person in it. Actually, no, I think... Is that a person? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a person in this one. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, yeah. These are, these are trucks. Can't drive any of them. Oh, yeah, but the... Well, who's his name? Sheriff Cletus. He has a, he has a monster truck. You can actually drive that, which I'm pretty sure I showed off in the other video. Um, but you might not have heard me say it, since another thing I probably should note, other than these cars are floating, um, is that with the, um, with the first part, um, I only found out after I posted the video that the music and sound was actually kind of covering up my voice for, or, or my voiced, my voice, um, for most of the, um, uh, for most of the video. You could still hear me, but it wasn't exactly ideal. So now I've changed it so that I'm still bugging about and can't seem to look straight for five seconds. Um, no, I've changed it so that the sound and music volume are turned way down, um, just enough so that they're still there, but you can also still hear me. Um, also, another update compared to um, what I said last video, um, or last episode of this, um, is that, you know how I said that Moonshine does absolutely nothing? Well, I since did a test, and I found out that Moonshine actually makes you run faster. So, if you somehow have lost your truck or something, and you can't get around very quickly, um, you can always try using, um, Moonshine that speeds up your, um, your run speed. Um, but really, when do you ever lose your truck throughout this game? There are very few, um, points where you need to go long distances without your truck. So, um, it isn't terribly useful, but I mean, if you do somehow lose it, I guess it's useful in that instance. So, other than that, there's not a whole lot new scenery here. There's kind of the parking lot, but that's kind of the most interesting bit here. Um, there's also this thing here. I think there was a way down from it, actually. There was kind of a ramp that you... Why don't you shoot at me? I couldn't make out what he said, so... Wait, you don't you don't you spin around? Don't do a 360 no scope. You don't have a scope. You can't do that. Oh, he just went. Ugh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think there are also these these ramps. You can go. Oh, great! Another person shooting at me. Um. Boxes. More boxes. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot interesting in this facility. I'm just gonna move over to. No. Oh. oh. I didn't think there would act. I, oh, okay. Eh, you, they can't get me up here. I'm just gonna drive over this, or maybe get stuck. One of the two. Uh. Huh. Well. I'm kind of stuck. Okay. Restart. Oh, I'm all the way back out here. Oh well. Now I can. Uh, don't go in the water. Yeah, the water is deadly. Don't go in it. Kids, don't drink water. <laughs> water is evil. Never drink it. Oh yeah, that's the way that you um get up here if you don't want to take the side route. Um, but why would you want to? Why would you not want to take the side route? The side route's awesome. I also haven't actually gone this way, so let's just go this way. Um, 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 um. Okay. I can't go this way. Can I go that way on foot? I, I really want to see if I can get back there. If I can dip, dip. Oh my goodness, I'm such a bad driver. There we go. Oh, my car's on the on the, on the thing. There we go. Now I'm out. Here we go. Okay. Uh, double barrel. I don't really want to be using my double barrel. Can you actually get in here? No. You can't. Well, why? Why put it here? Can I actually just? No. There's an invisible wall. Can I use... I think I actually have a... No, I thought I had a bit of pistol ammo. Let's see. And I can't shoot again. Um, can I shoot now? How about now? I found that sometimes pausing... There we go. Yeah, I don't... I think that's an invisible wall. 
yeah. Okay, let's just take the non-awesome way going through that obviously open door, which apparently is not supposed to be open. So, let's just go around. Here we go. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of afraid to bang into those pipes since I've done it before and it kind of brought me to the end boss. So, we don't really want to do that. We actually want to get to the end boss the proper way. Um, which isn't exact, like, I if you really just want to speedrun the game, you can just do the glitch. I'm I've pr I'm pretty sure that all you have to do is try to load up a save point where you start in the car. Mo and most of the time, that will bring you to the, um, they'll bring you to the, uh, to the end boss. There's also lots of cars. Yeah, you can kind of throw these cars about. They're very weak. I think it just went over into next week. Get over here. Did he say that I just got him? Okay, I think he, I think he just said that. Great vocabulary on these guys. Okay, he just got hit by a car and did not even care. He just moved out. I'm probably just gonna. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna get killed by some people shooting pistols at a truck. That's gonna do a whole lot. You guys, great job there. I can't walk over there. I think he just said, "Watch it." Well, he, it's a bit late for that. He should have followed his own advice. I'm not having a good... Is he just stuck in a wall? Okay, I have to I have to get rid of him. I don't want to keep getting shot by a military guard. This is my place now. They should know this. I'm Steve Earl. My get over here. Don't, you, don't, you, don't you snipe me. I'm gonna... Fine, I'm gonna snipe you. I can out-snipe you, you bouncy man. Good, he can't shoot me. I can... Now I guess. Okay, fine. I'm bringing out the double barrel. I don't have a double barrel anymore. Probably. Shotgun. Okay. Did it work? Now I'm really mad. Yeah, you are, Steve Earl. That's great to hear. Don't have a pistol. I have a rifle. So I, now I pretty much have to hope that I can hit him with this rifle. Enough times. I don't think I can without dying. Okay, I'm just gonna try going uh, through his blind spot and heading back into the car and just head on to the next area because I'm kind of stuck in this area because there isn't a whole lot else to show you here um, um, other than me almost getting stuck in the floor. Uh, anything else? Oh yeah, so this is the way we're supposed to go. Let's hope this saving screen doesn't take too long. Hopefully it won't. In the meantime, I'm gonna have some water, so just, I'm just gonna move the mic. Now, now it's up there. Mm. Water's good. On on second thought, do drink water. Don't always avoid water, because water's tasty and stuff. Oh yeah, another thing, actually, I probably shouldn't talk in this saving thing, because when it was loading the very first part of the game, my speech got cut out for some reason, so hope that doesn't happen again this time, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Yeah, this is a really exciting saving status screen, by the way. I'm gonna count off and see how long this takes. We're at one minute. Yeah, excuse me. Uh. Yeah, this is a really boring saving status thing, because I don't want to say anything, because last time, all my speech got cut out in the first bit. So it just was a jumbled mess. Oh, here we go. Now we're back to the part where I can safely talk without having the risk of being cut off. Um, so another thing, just in case, um, just in case I did somehow get cut off, when I said it twice, um, basically, <clears throat> um, in the first episode, 
um, of this game, in the first episode, I've been talking, um, I've been talking in that big loading screen when the game first starts up, I've been talking there, and for some reason, maybe the game had decided to load a big chunk of the game, because all my speech was cut out, it was just all jumbled, so you didn't get to hear my entire thing about the police officer getting turned into a zombie, and then he probably would not be showing up at work in the living state, or at least, well, you caught the last half of it. Oh yeah, um, here we go, uh, Cletus here. His 4x4 here, you can actually drive it earlier in the game. I kinda, I kinda showed it in my, uh, first episode. Another interesting thing, he just kinda disappears when he goes off screen, so. Also, it's another three-headed dog. I'm just gonna, yeah. Um, there's also another nice dog inside here, so I'm not gonna poke him. Um, so, right here, I think we have the option of going either way, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this one. Um, so now, here, we are on our way to the town, which is probably one of the funnest areas in the game. And not just because it's a, not just because it's a town and you get to explore around and stuff, but you can modify your car's settings. So, yeah. Also, the reason I know all this is not because of the video in the description. Um, it was kind of in part from my um, failed recording attempts where um, my mic was way too quiet and in part from the technical difficulties stated earlier in the video. So basically, I kind of got to mess around with the, um, with the settings for my car. And let me tell you, very hilarious. So... We're gonna see, um, we're just gonna avoid that bug. The bugs are just kind of annoying if they latch onto you, or latch onto your location. They don't, like, cling on to you. They don't cling on. Um, so the horse here, I'm gonna just park. And where should I park? Eh, I'll, I'll park, I'll park here. Here we go. I hope this person doesn't mind. Yeah, I'll just get out there. I think there's a dog that's being hurt. I sure hope he's one of the three-headed kind. Hello, horse. This is a nice horse, by the way. Don't hurt nice horses. Okay, yeah, that's an evil dog. Do I have a shotgun? Here we go. Take this, evil dog. Um, what else? Oh yeah, more moonshine. AKA speed potions. Uh, anything else? Oh yeah, this area over here where you can modify your uh, car is guarded by this bug, which you need to- I can't shoot again. Which you need to take down beforehand, since you can't really get rid of him after. So, pretty much this is the part of the game where you wait for the bug, and then you snipe him with your rifle, for some reason. Let's see if I can hit him. Good. Okay, now that he's gone, we can go and retrieve our car. Oh yeah, uh, Cletus also parked over here. Um, great parking job there, Cletus. I don't have the keys. Uh... Okay, that's too bad. What's happening, cuz? Hello, Israel, how- rock and roll stem from rhythm and blues and gospel. That's not even part of the conversation. He, 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 uh, I don't understand Steve Earle's speech pattern. Um, I'm just gonna go and retrieve my car. My car's the red one now. So, here we go. We're in the red car. That's kind of a cross between a truck and a car. And it has a, um, and it has a, um, a whatever a thing is called. What whatever that's called. The, oh, oh, oh. That's great. I'm bouncing about uncontrollably, and I haven't even messed with my car's settings. So, here we go. This building over here, you basically just go onto here, and you get to, uh, modify anything you want. So... Here we have downforce, aerodynamics, stability. We probably want our stability up full, knowing how well this car controls and everything. Stability at 100 or 1.00. Aerodynamics, why wouldn't I want it all the way aerodynamic? That's an awesome song, so. Um, let's see, suspension dampening. I'm just gonna not mess with the suspension because, um, you know how I was saying earlier about sometimes when you load up a save file where you're starting in the car and you get bumped to the end boss? Well, I think that's because your car ends up going through the ground, so I think that might happen if I kind of mess with the downforce or the suspension. So, I don't want to mess with that. Brakes. 
Eh, I'll, I'll put that on full. I might need to slow down, because I'm probably going to put my acceleration at 1. Okay, so apparently my acceleration is more. Okay, and steering, I'm actually not, I don't want to mess with that too much. Then when you're done, you just press done. And I think it's going to do exactly what I had just been talking about. Hmm. Yep, that looks like it. Hmm. Well, that's the glitch that I've been talking about. It brings you to a blue screen with the loading thing, and then you get bumped to here. Basically, um, this is kind of spoilers to the end of the game, but you um, come in through that pipe, and then you exit through this pipe. And, yeah. So, basically, this area over here is probably the final area, but we are going to cover that um, maybe in episode 3, and if it actually takes that long, episode 4. So, um, this is kind of what you'll be seeing in the future. Um, th I also even didn't notice that. There's green and... Green? Huh, that's odd. Grr, I'm gonna shoot it. If, if you see something you don't understand, shoot at it. Most of the time, something will happen. Or not. Yeah. Um... But yeah, we're, like I said, we're going to cover this in a future episode, and because of that, this is probably a good place as any to stop. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button, and yeah, see you later guys. Bye.